What's going on guys? Uh, today, I decided to make another video similar to my last one um, about checking spots that most people don't look for uh, when cleaning. So it's going to be a little bit more detailed than your typical field strip, but it's not going to be as detailed as your um, detailed strip. Again, I can't get this crap off. Just don't, I haven't tried acetone yet. I just don't want to, don't want to pour it all over my fingers, if you know what I mean. So, similar to the last one, I'm just going to show you how to tear down your AR to a field strip. Okay. Now, just for you know, video purposes here. Maybe. I'm just gonna disassemble the upper and the lower. Uh, it just makes it easier to handle um, for the video. So, this is a brand new firearm. Never shot it. Uh, going to shoot it here soon, actually. But doesn't mean I can't show you. So here you have all your in your internals, right, and your lower, um, and your basic field strip. You're gonna want to add oil to your hammer springs. I do, anyways. A little oil to your fire your fire and safety selector. Um. Your disconnect, your mag release, your bolt catch. That's it. For the lower anyways. That I'm interested in. But when we come to the upper, my main, main priority is my bolt carrier group. Now I have an MBS lightweight bolt. Like I said, this firearm's never been fired. So it's this bolt, if you notice, is shaved down as much as possible. Not too sure how it runs yet. Haven't had the chance to run it, but it's light. I can even let me grab my scale. Now I don't have a bolt, a regular bolt to compare. Okay, we'll turn off. But this bolt, 9.07 ounces. Wish I had another one to compare it to, but if you want to compare it to yours, feel free to do so. Let me know in the comments how much yours weighs. But this here is my main priority. I'm going to give you a couple things to look forward to, look for um, when inspecting this. I'm going to push on my firing pin from the back side here. Push the bolt face down. And I'm going to check and make sure that the firing pin point itself isn't rounded, cracked, um, split, so on and so forth. Make sure my ejector's still there. Don't push it with my pin. We're good. My extractor. We're in there like swimwear. But another great test, and this is to test your gas rings. Extend the bull face. Stand it on end. Hold it at an angle. But you'll stand it up like so. 
and see if it drops. If the bolt drops, then you have bad rings. But from the weight of the bolt, if it does not drop, your rings are healthy. Quick and easy, 10 second check, ready to rock and roll. But just like with my last video of the handgun, you need a fire, or not a firing pin. <laughs> you need a pin punch. Uh, you can use really whatever you want. But you're going to pull this little pin out. What that is allowing me to do is now get my firing pin out. So now we can further inspect it, make sure there's no damage to the point. There's no carbon buildup. I've had a lot of rifles that come in with a bunch of carbon buildup on the backside of this flange, which means this is neglected, which also means that the bolt pry has never been torn apart, which also means you're not doing your job. Here we have the gas rings. When you look at these, you want to look for splits, cracks, um, brittleness, make sure they're not falling apart. Really just, you know, a broken ring, right? Actually don't want them to lap. So what I'm doing is, is I'm just adjusting these three holes. I don't want them to be in line. When they're in line, then you risk having the problems of gas leaking. And that is not good for your COO, also known as your cycle of operations. Have a pick. I just so happen to have a pick. There should be plenty. So when you have your bolt down to this point, you can even go a step further. But we already tested them, right? Here's a roll pin for your ejector. Here's the roll pin for your extractor. When you punch this out, there will be like a plunger style um, spring setup. Kind of similar, but super small compared to the handgun plunger setup. So make sure when you take this off, you're not uh, Just letting it go free, all willy-nilly. You don't want to do that. Make sure you have it in a controlled area so you don't lose it. Okay. New bolt. New bolt carrier group. I'm not going to clean it. I have it all oiled up, ready to rock and roll. Again, I oil heavy. Um, sadly, my firearms sit more then I'd use them. So from a storage standpoint, I oil heavy so I don't risk any rust coming in anytime soon. Um, especially with open steels. It's just not good. Set your barrel outside in the rain. Let it collect water. Bring it back in in about 10 days, maybe two weeks you don't have rust starting. But now we're gonna put this back together. When you go to put your bolt back into the carrier, make sure your, eject your extractor will be on the right side, which would be the side that your, can't think of the name, 
your ejection port cover will be on. So you want to make sure it's on the same side. Why? Because you can see there's a hole. This hole, when it's on the proper side, is just a little bit bigger. This will allow for your pin to fall through so you can set it back up. Now if I try to put it on this way, I can't. It just doesn't let you. Extractor on the left. Well, my left. The right. Put it in. At this point, you're going to want to line the hole of the bolt, as you can see, inside this channel. But you want it to go just to where it fits inside this mouth. Um, how I like to do it is I just line up that face of the hole from the bolt to the face of the hole of the carrier. So notice how I put it in sideways, right? If you're paying attention, my hole is facing me, but the firing pin goes this way to my right. So I'm going to put it in this way, because if I try to put it in this way, you can't get past the gas key. So what you're going to do, very plain and simple, turn it. Holes facing me, drop it in. Give her a good spin, you're good to go. Now, I had a 308 bolt and group. Bolt carrier group for short. And I could not get the firing pin to go in, just dropping it through the face of this. I don't recommend just dropping it straight into the bolt from the top. Because when you do that, then you risk hitting these faces in here. Then you're dulling up or flattening out your tip. Then you run into some, you know, other problems with firing that you just don't want to get into. So if luckily for AR-15s and 223556, it's a lot easier just to put it in. Now for, <laughs> hate this part, but now for what I think is the most challenging part of putting your bolt back together, is putting this pin back in. Oh, well, luckily I, for YouTube it went in flawlessly, but it usually never goes that well, for me anyway. So, now we check the firing pin. I'm going to add oil all over. I don't know if you can tell, but it's shiny. It's covered in oil. I'm going to test the function, make sure the bolt face opens and closes. Or, I guess it doesn't really open and close. Comes out, goes in. We're good to go. When you go to put this back in, if you're new to ARs, you're watching this video to get some insight on how to do it, have your bolt face be out. The reason why, when you go to put your bolt in, you have excessive overhang. This will hit the side of the upper and not allow it to go in. For example, charging handle in first, I have it standing off, go to put it in, can't, pull the bolt face out, in like butter baby. So this is another, um, just think about this on the fly from a gunsmithing perspective. A good way to check your head spacing at this point right now is to look at your bolt, bolt your BCG, bolt carrier group, 
and make sure that it's all the way in and flush with the end of your upper receiver. Mine comes out a little bit, so my head spacing could be just a tiny bit off. But if it's, you know, out a good amount, then you need to look into getting a new barrel. This here shows a sign of an unhealthy barrel. I wouldn't shoot it. There's a lot of th things that can happen within that point. Um, but I'm not your boss. Do as you please. Now we just put it back together. Doesn't matter what way, which side goes in first. Okay, apparently in this situation it does. Nope, just the way it was laying down. Then you're done. I always give her the old college try. Red rock.